how's it going? I'm going to back with an all new video and I know it's a late upload and I've been all sick and the Python tutorial will be coming up soon, don't worry about that and most of all I've been sick because of cold, I'm getting cold here and also already raining outside and because of that I literally just couldn't create any new videos so today we're back with another Fortnite and it isn't going to be any sort of gameplay or sort of that, I'm not playing Fortnite today but I'm going to be telling you how you can fix FPS drops in Fortnite. Now if you're, uh, if you're experiencing FPS drops or low FPS even you got a good PC unlike mine. So you can literally go ahead and do a lot of stuff there to get knowledge and get how your PC could go better with that. Now uh, first of all thing that I want to tell you guys is the system configuration. It is a must. Uh, system configuration are what you can see here in the control panel. And I literally they haven't got something really better or really big so you don't need to worry about it. And even if I go to my device manager, I don't have a GPU like a GPU of NVIDIA, Radeon, ATI or something like that. But I do have a Intel integrated edge chipset which is a really weak one. I prefer it to be like that. Generally I don't game here or don't do much. So it's probably like you're gonna be off with that. So there are some things that's gonna be changed or gonna be different with, that, with us. So you need not to worry about it. We're gonna be going with really simple and easy things. So the very first fix is that of these FPS drop that your PC must be good and if you don't have a really good PC this is gonna cause trouble for you. Make sure that your PC matches the minimum requirements and I'm gonna be start from the basics. The very first thing that causes your PC to draw frames is due to your very high amount of temporary files being formed in your PC. How you can do that? Press window icon plus R to open up run. You can also uh, right click over here on the right icon and click on run to open run or Windows 7 users can type in run simply or the, that would be around here somewhere so once you open up run percent protect the percent icon percent indicates to find and press temp and again percent this means to find the folder named temp and then select all that and press shift plus de uh, shift plus delete and click yes now literally mine this folder will not be deleted because I am recording video so these two won't be deleted because this recording has been going on so it's gonna be like that uh, let's go ahead and remove it all and now uh, just type in temp simply without be without placing those percentage icons these are more temporary files that are to be stored now delete them all this is gonna be refreshing your computer completely the next thing you wanna do is to type in uh, open up run again and type in clean clean mgr which means clean manager press enter make sure that you're scanning for C drive do not scan for any else drive only scan wherever your operating system is installed if it's in D make sure you select D mine is in C I'm gonna press C and press OK now up uh, down here you're gonna see clean up system files click on that and even if you ask for those administrative rights give it the administrative rights so that it can clean up the uh, the administrator or the system files that are not needed by your computer system now once it have completed you get something like this and it says more options and this cleanup so the next thing you want to do is to select all this make sure that you know what you're selecting like windows defender antivirus these are the known critical files you can read them out these are the upgrade logs that contain information but they aren't of any use anymore so i can select all this because this is of no use i can select the temporary files and you can see one thing that i have here is previous windows installations now let me tell you what this is if you're upgrading from windows 7 to Windows 8 and you're upgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 10 there are some previous files that are to be left on your computer now even if you go to uh, this computer and go to your C drive you're gonna see windows.old this is a non particular folder that you can even shift plus delete so delete these all things but preferably I'm gonna give most of that one so I can really get 21.1 GB of free space this 21.1 GB of free space is gonna be providing scratch disk for my Fortnite and it's gonna be enabling it to run faster the next thing you want to do is to really hide this up away somewhere so that you guys would not be disturbed with that. Let's go ahead and create a new desktop for now. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is something different. Now I'll let you want to tell you guys something. Uh, it says if you want to clear it, okay just click yes to that, nothing to be worried about. Now uh, there are two things that you're going to be needing here. Uh, these two are really for absolutely free, do not cost a penny. The first one is the CCleaner and the another one is iobit uninstall manager. You can find it on iobit.com. You can simply go in there and the second one is CCleaner. 
now literally these all things depicts and completely over cleaning up temporary files so how you can do that is to once you install C cleaner just type in C cleaner and that is gonna pop up in front of you and make sure that's on the latest version now there are things that you're gonna be modifying here out here everything would be selected if you recently type URL not selected just select them in case you don't need them and down here let uh, it be as it is and down here let it be as it is I'm gonna be selecting other explorer MRUs and everything is fine here in advanced menu you can select all prefetch data because it is not needed now some videos if you find it out there some videos for you or speed up videos they might say like delete everything present inside of professor let me warn you do not delete anything I literally mean do not delete anything inside the folder prefetch now let me tell you what prefetch is if you search for the word prefetch it literally means to fetch data pre pre means already now what it does that it creates a ready boot here and everything that you have opened in your life or not only life it literally removes the previous ones uh, all time a bit but these are the things that are literally getting open so what it does that it creates a backup of that and whenever you open the same application it makes it faster so do not delete anything but we're gonna be enabling all prefetch data so that everything that is old in that folder will get deleted I don't want that old prefetch data to come up across and just uh, slow down my computer a bit more so it says close Google Chrome I'm gonna say yes because I literally do not need Chrome for and now now it says 24.6 mb to be removed you can simply click on run cleaner and that is gonna clean that all up instead of mine it will take time so I'm gonna click just cancel I literally don't need to clean that up again and again make sure that you don't just clean it up again and again doing some sort of stuff the second thing is registry you can check out what things you're doing and registry is something that leaves up when you install something like if you install a game it's gonna be creating this registry if you can install a software it's gonna create a registry similarly the things which are already been created these are to be removed these are the leftovers that are left after the uninstallation of particular things once you have installed it registry is anymore so let's scan for issues, fix selected issues that I don't want to back them up. Let's click on fix all selected, that's going to remove them all. As I told you, the software that we need is CCleaner and IOBit uninstaller. IOBit provide literally a lot of services and one of the best services that I found was IOBit uninstaller. And the IOBit uninstaller, what it does that it records everything that is being installed in your computer and you can select all of them and delete them one by one. But it does one more task. The other task is to remove or remove the plugins that are not needed. Even if you are having some residual file left over your computer, you can still uninstall them. I'm going to be leaving it for a while. Alright, so let's come down and you can see the things that are not needed. For example, I do not need the CSGO editor and I do not need anything else like that. So probably I'm going to be uninstalling that. And I know the uh, icons is pretty shit, so you need not to worry about it. So ju just let it be and it's going to take a bit of second to complete it out. So it says uninstallation complete, so I can really press OK and get out of that. And I'll let you, I'm actually seeing it just recording it or not. So probably you guys won't have trouble figuring out the things that I don't do. Now here is another icon called, uh, another option called toolbar and plugins. You can click over to that. And here are the things that we need to worry about. These things are literally a lot helpful. For example, most of all, if you guys use Google Chrome, uh, I also do there are some plugins that are being installed in your Google Chrome that are not needed so here we can go through and uh, remove the things that are not needed like file shop I do not need it in coming down I don't need heartbeat I'm gonna be reinstalling it edge tab search manager search manager I don't know secured search manager and sheet is provided by Google itself steam wizard I think I don't need it anymore I just close it all in temp mail for L X E N, I have TubeBuddy. I need TubeBuddy. View images. Uh, the view image is something different. WebGL Art, YouTube, and Zen made VPN. So I think I'm going to be needing the VPN for a while because I literally uh, use it sometime. Uh, so once it does, once it goes, and you can literally click over to that, and it is going to remove every one single item out of that. If you if you guys use Mozilla Firefox. You can literally go ahead and remove the ones you don't want from Mozilla Firefox. That is going to help you a lot. Now once you do this, let's close this. This will literally improve the performance of your PC by a bit. But you can see it's a bit slowing down. And why? Because I have to restart my computer. The next thing you want to do is to go ahead and in, uh, open up your control panel. 
people who are using Windows 8 can open up control panel by simply right clicking here and people who are using Windows 7 you can just click the start button and there should be control panel out here let's type in advanced or over right uh, on the top here and click on view advanced system settings close the control panel not needed anymore and once you're inside the uh, advanced settings there's something called performance click on settings and you can click click on adjust for best performance but I want to do on custom because I want the thumbnails instead of icons let's go to advanced and here's the total paging size make sure if this is checked to check it click on custom, custom size and type in the recommended value it says 1649 1649 this is the virtual RAM that you can create for your own computer click on set and OK do not increase it more than your physical RAM I preferably advise you guys for that the next thing you want to do uh, would be inside your graphic properties if you're using Nvidia or ATI Radeon I'm going to be telling you how you can do that similarly just simply go inside the folder and just um, not the folder but your graphic properties by right clicking and for Nvidia users they can click on the Nvidia graphic control and similarly Radeon can click on Radeon graphic control I'll go out in 3D and make sure that everything is in performance like performance optimal mode enabled and apply and we users can just add, add the program like Fortnite and click on everything to be performance now one other thing that you need to do inside Fortnite would be go into the Fortnite settings and click on uh, go to into your Fortnite settings change everything to low make sure that you are minimal resolution and also do one more thing that would be setting your frame limiting to unlimited because we don't want to limit our frames okay so once that all done there are a few things that you can do more open up task manager by pressing control shift and escape or you can just simply right click and click on task manager now once inside your task manager uh, after the new windows update there are something that they show and this is called known as the suspended so you can come down and remove the things that are not needed like team viewer I literally don't need it but it opens up every single time and uh, I don't think I'm going to be uh, removing anything else than that because everything else is needed okay let's go to startup uh, if you're using windows 7 i don't think this would be available for you startup would be available for you in task manager so you can go into your c cleaner i told you guys to install go into c cleaner and here in tools you can go to startup and everything will be available just like that you can just need to go into these and just let them know what we're going on so i'm going to be dis disabling these all just simply security health what is that says Microsoft Corporation you not disable that Windows Defender everything will seem fine and similarly everything seems fine here just something like that that will be helping you a lot for improving your FPS in your computer make sure that everything is defined and perfectly running and the final thing you want to do is to restart your PC once you do that okay let me tell you one more tip uh, this is one of the major tips what you can do uh, you must have heard about the defragmentation. Uh, let me tell you what fragmentation and defragmentation is. It's the forming of bad sectors on your hard drive. And sometimes something gets really off. So, I preferably use the defragger and defraggler from IOBit. I don't think it's from IOBit's perform or from where C Cleaner is. But you can use the inbuilt defragmentation. If I can just defrag. And, oh my god, what did I type? and it says defragment and optimize drive and there one more thing that I want to tell you guys is driver booster from uh, <coughs> I think sorry for that it's from as well what we call as IOBit IOBit is a uh, source of this driver booster and this is 5.2 I think I'm going to be linking all the software down below now uh, it says very old that literally means that my driver status is very old you need to update make sure that you're updated with every single of your driver because the most driver update you have and the more optimal the things gonna be running onto that now you can see only two of them are the network and the sound video and game controllers so it's better to update them so simply click on update now and that is gonna be updating them now here you can see I have I don't know why I'm having these two drives linking up I literally have these four but it's it's not something big problem just simply uh, the major one is where your game is being installed for example if it's on D or something else like that it's going to be showing up here and you can simply click on analyze and then optimize the optimization process is going to take time because it's going to consider eight passes and eight passes is going to be a really really long time so preferably it's going to be taking time 
so that was it I think these are all the things that you can do I think I described them in the most detail and the slowest manner you can even slow down the video down below that is gonna help you understand it much more precisely every step is also written down below in the description I actually gone through the whole video and typed it down and all the links to the software that I used are given below in the description everything that I used here is for completely free and does not require anything to be uh, to be paid and most of all if these things are running down below you can exit them at the time you're gaming for example all these I think I'm going to be updating my driver I think also I'm going to be in uninstalling I don't know why my Windows Defender have these red icons but it's probably due to these tweets and phone. make sure that your computer is completely wires free make sure that you scan and literally remove everything that is not needed like these all and I can type in remove all and just remove all that thing and just start action on these and all things are now quarantine okay so that would be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video helped you out anything more anything next video you want any sort of video you want i'm going to be coming up with those make sure that you comment down below also make sure that you like and subscribe on the channel and that's going to be helping me a lot it's frosty signing out now that that you watched the video it's a perfect time to click on the subscribe button and like this video also make sure to check out other videos popping in front of you